Welcome to Electron Line. In the previous chapter, we dealt with just one type of data, for example, the prices of houses. But here in this chapter, we're going to deal with two kinds of data, which means bivariate data. Definition, data consisting of two variables, and they can either be qualitative or quantitative. And there could be three different cases. Since there's two variables, both could be quantitative, or one could be quantitative and the other one could be qualitative, or both can be qualitative. So some examples of that, for example, if both can be quantitative, for example, the number of push-ups compared to the number of sit-ups. So we grab a number of people and we see how many sit-ups they can do, how many push-ups they can do, and we're going to do some relationship between that. So they're both quantitative. Or we could be comparing the type of a tire thread compared to the amount of stopping distance. So this would be qualitative, the kind of tire tread, and this will then be quantitative, how far the car will go when you try to stop. And there might be a relationship between them. And thirdly, we could be dealing with both being qualitative. For example, we can compare the gender of students to the types of degrees that they get. There's no quantitative there. Now, it might be a little bit confusing because you might be thinking about how many of each student will get what type of degree, but it's essentially comparing the gender of students to the types of degrees, so that's considered both qualitative. Now, what kind of things do we want to do with that data? For, ex for example, we want to determine the relationship between the two types of data or the two variables. We may want to find the dependency of one relative to the other, or we may want to find the correlation between the two types of data. So that's why we want to look at two sets of data and compare them to each other for various reasons. And we can have both quantitative and qualitative, qualitative type of data. And so that's what we do when we look at bivariate data. So now that we know what that is, let's go ahead and get started and see about all the things that we need to know how to do. And that is coming up in the rest of the videos in this playlist.